The gentleman reserves. Uh, the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just a quick point of rebuttal. Uh, I would just remind my uh, good friend from Massachusetts that the passage of H.R. 3967 is not guaranteed to run in the Senate or pass in the Senate. We don't have that concern when we're talking about the Health Care for Burn Pit Veterans Act, which has already passed the Senate by unanimous consent. We could pass that today here on the floor this week. It could be signed into law this week, doing anything other simply to delay assistance to the veterans who need it most. Now to the topic of Ukraine. In the, week of Vladimir, in the wake of Vladimir Putin's brutal, brutal invasion of Ukraine, the world is crying out for an alternative to Russian energy. Pennsylvania and the rest of America's heartland could provide that alternative, but President Biden and congressional Democrats refuse to let that happen. They would rather promote their radical Green New Deal agenda and continue buying oil from Putin's ruthless regime. regime. They'd rather do that than unleash domestic energy production, and that includes Pennsylvania coal, oil, and natural gas industries. They'd rather do that than lower gas and heating prices for American families and strengthen our national security through becoming an energy exporter. Republicans, on the other hand, we actually want to make America energy independent once again, just like we were in the last administration. That's why, Mr. Speaker, if we defeat the previous question, I will personally offer an amendment to the rule to immediately consider the American Energy Independence from Russia Act. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to insert the text of my amendment into the record, along with any extraneous- Objection. Thank you. Here to explain the amendment is one of the bill's authors, Natural Resources Committee ranking member, and my good friend, Bruce Westerman, and I yield him three minutes. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman. As we witness an evil empire trying to remake itself, I reflect on Ms. Bowen's first grade class in my tiny rural school in the heartland of America. And as a six-year-old living in the Cold War, trying to understand how crouching under a desk as part of our nuclear attack drill would save anyone. The simple truth is, it wouldn't. Crouching, hiding, and being intimidated only emboldens communists. Standing up strong is how you beat the evils of communism. Last year, I had the great experience of standing at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin, where Ronald Reagan spoke those famous words in 1987. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Remarkably, less than two and a half years later, that wall came down, and by the end of 1991, the evil Soviet empire had dissolved. The Soviet Union was gone, but the seeds of the evil in the communist government of Russia and other parts of the world still remain. As brave Ukrainians are fighting a David and Goliath type battle of survival, we must stand strong and create a long-term plan to crush the Russian energy grip on Europe and our allies. Energy revenue feeds the Russian beast, and we have the resources and the technology to starve it to death. Only a few years ago, the United States became energy independent, but my, how quickly things have changed. On his first day in office, President Biden canceled the Keystone XL pipeline that could have reduced our reliance on Russian oil. But it's not just Keystone. All U.S. pipeline projects are being held up and Russian hackers even attacked our existing pipelines with no recourse. A week into office and the Biden administration doubled down on their anti-American energy agenda, ordering an indefinite freeze on new oil and gas leasing, and to this day has issued zero new leases on federal lands or waters. President Biden's policies are choosing Russian oil and Russian jobs over American energy and our own national security. In fact, in 2021, U.S. imports from Russia reached an 11-year high, and we are sending tens of millions of our dollars every day to fund Putin's war machine. Why are we doing this to ourselves when we have so many resources at our fingertips? Our bill is simple, and it stands up to Russian aggression by going after their major source of funding. It will empower U.S. domestic production by, one, immediately improving the Keystone XL pipeline, by restarting the oil and gas leasing program on federal lands and waters, by requiring President Biden to submit an energy security plan to Congress, by unleashing liquefied natural gas exports to displace Russian gas abroad, 
and finally requiring drawdowns from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to be replaced by increased federal oil and gas leasing. I ask my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand up strong and join me and Mrs. McMorris Rogers in co-sponsoring the legislation. Gentlemen's time's expired. I urge expired. my colleagues to defeat the Gentlemen's previous time's question. Expired. I yield an additional 15 seconds to some. I urge my colleagues to defeat the previous question so that our legislation can be considered immediately by the House of Representatives. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlemen's reserved.